Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. Welcome to day one of your strong shoulders. We're going to start with circles. Supinate your arms. Let's do some circles here. Just move them back. I want you to feel those biceps stretch. Pull the shoulders down. The chest is up. The glutes are engaged. The legs are engaged. Let's do some circles here. We're going to really stretch out. Hey, if this isn't possible for you yet, just come down here. If it is, let's make it happen. Bring it up. Let's increase the speed a little bit. Beautiful. Just work it. Let's get these shoulders ready to, to work for you. This is your day. This is a day to work on you. Give yourself that chance. Give yourself that moment. Let's get you strong. Let's get you to be able to pull a tree out of the ground. Let's make it happen right now. This is it. Day one of shoulders. Come on now. Okay, let's stretch it out a little bit. We're going to pinch the shoulder blades together like crazy. We're going to pinch. Open it up. Pinch. Good, good. Feel that pinch. Pull the shoulders down towards the butt, and then we're going to bring them over. We're going to cross one hand in front of the other and curl the shoulders and push the hands together so you feel the stretch on the mid-back, pushing that forward. Now, bring it back. Big breath in. Breathe out. Pinch them together. Pinch, 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 and bring it forward and stretch. Good. Here we go. Good. Pinch. We've got to increase the strength of our back because our chest tend to get those muscles get shorter with our society so let's curl it forward good feel that stretch push it together good nice let's do one more pinch it good smile you're doing the right thing right now there we go and curl it forward good let's go back to some circles this time the palms go out the wrist is flexed like this Good. Good. Just get, get those circles. You want to feel those biceps. And what's going to happen is the biceps are eventually going to stretch out a little bit so they're not so tight and acting on the head of your humerus or your shoulder. There we go. Good. If you feel a little cracking or popping, go a little slower, pull the shoulders down and correct yourself a little bit. Now let's go palms up a bit and let's increase it. Let's increase that size of that circle. Good. Okay. And stretch it out. Good. Open it up. Open the hands. Chest is up. Pull the shoulders down. Good. You've seen those gymnasts, right? They stick the landing because that spine has to be arched and those shoulders have to come back for safety of their spines. And curl forward. Good. There we go. And arching. There it is. And bringing it forward. Good. Big breath in. <sighs> pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. You'll get sore just on this alone. Go into that end range motion and pinch. Good. Come forward a little bit and stretch. Good, good, good. Let's pick up some weights. I want you to start with something light. Start with two or three pounds, really light, okay? Let's do some rotator cuffs. Bring your upper arm level with the ground and the, the elbow is gonna be at a 90 degrees. The left hand is gonna be facing forward and we're gonna rotate just like this. Good, we're gonna rotate that arm. If this is too much right now, just lower it a little bit and just give it a little here. But this is your goal. The chest is up, the shoulders pulled down, so even this trap is barely, it's not even engaging if you can get it to that point. The chest is up, engage your, your quads. There you go. Good, get a little burn here. Let's go, other side, and grab it. And now, initially, just start low range of motion, and then eventually, you're gonna be able to go full range of motion. There we go, good. Rotator cuffs, they're essential for shoulder strength. Most of what we do is internal rotation, right? Throwing a ball, forehand in tennis, even typing at a computer is internal rotation of the shoulders. We're gonna do external right here, good. Okay, now the low back is actually essential for shoulder mechanics, right? When you have a good curve that arches in there and the shoulder sits better. So let's go ahead and do some good mornings. Stick the butt out, weight goes here, chest is up, and we're gonna come down at the hips. Keep the arch in the low back. Keep it the whole time, pushing down through your heels, feel it in the glutes, arch that low back. When you have an arch in the low back, your humerus fits better into your shoulder joint and those mechanics are better and actually strength goes up. Think about that, a lumbar curve creating more shoulder strength. Here you go. 
Let's make it happen for three, two, one. Good, let's get one extra. And back to some rotators. Good, chest is up. Let's rotate it. That's it, chest up, perfect form. Good, nice range of motion. Controlling the weight, always control the weight, don't let the weight control you. You're taking time for yourself right now, this is good. This is what you've been needing to do. Shoulder is an amazing joint. If you give it strength, it doesn't rely on the ligaments, right? It relies on the muscles, and muscles contract. Ligaments don't contract. So let's get those muscles strong. Chest is up, feeling good about it. Feeling good about feeling your body, discovering your shoulder, preparing it for anything. Good job, good job. Rep it out, people. Rep it out, rotate for two. Good job, and one. Good, let's do another set of good mornings. This time we're gonna lift the weight a little bit, okay? So we're gonna come here, we're gonna arch and lift like this. Arch and lift. Keep that arch in the low back. Good, bring it up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Squeeze them, that's it. Squeeze them, come down and feel your hamstring stretch. That's it, notice I still have an arch in that low back. Good. If you have to rest, just rest here, but don't, don't stand up all the way. Okay, face me. Back to shoulders, chest is up. We're gonna do three different ranges of motion. Up, in front, 45, and this one's gonna be the most challenging. All the way up, keep the arms straight, and up. Good, up in the front, 45, and out to the side. Notice the body is straight, the shoulder doesn't come up, it stays down, just like that. That's it, doing good, all the way up. Now let's go one more. Good. Feel it burn. Other side, here we go. 45 degrees, and all the way up. Try and, don't bend your arm until you come way up. In front of you, 45 degrees, and out to the side. Good. Smile, people. You're doing what you've been wanting to do. Here we go. That's it. Here we go, and out to the side. Good, keep going. Front, chest is up, pull the shoulders down, middle, and out to the side. Here we go, chest is up, front, 45, out to the side. Let's stretch it out a little bit. Bring your, your uh, you do the mirror image of what I'm doing. Bring your, your right leg over your left, cross it over, your left hand over your head, and with your right hand just pull. And let's just stretch, just like this. I'm gonna stretch all of this out, and just those latissimus dorsi, Take a big breath in right through that. There we go, and ah, as you breathe out, just pull that elbow down to the ground. Good, let's do the other side. Here we go. We're gonna take your left leg, cross it over your right, take your right arm over your head, and pull. That's it, that's it, you got it. Big breath in. Get some space in between those ribs, and then Excellent. We're going to do another set of arm raises, but we're going to add a range of motion. Okay, arm is in front, and let's go across the shoulders, in front, 45, and then all the way out. Good. Across, 45, across, front, 45, and out to the side. Good. Across the body. Out to the front, 45, and out to the side. Good, across the body, out to the front, 45, you're doing great. Chest is up and lift it. Good, you should feel this right where the scapula is. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side, cross the body, out to the front, 45, 
and out to the side, chest is up, boom, good job. Over to the cross, out in front, 45, chest is up, feel this in your scapula, good. Chest is up, arch that low back, there you go. And over, good, excellent. That's one more, cross it, front, 45, out to the side. We're gonna do a little tricep stretch here. Grab your weights like this, push the weight together, and then push it all the way back. Push, 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 and bend your elbows, and push, and we're stretching the front of your triceps now. Just really get a nice stretch in those triceps. You got it, arch the low back a little bit. You can even look up a little bit, and stretch it. And stretch it. Good, we're gonna do a little bicep raise now here, okay? Chest is up. Again, we have your arm level with the ground. Open the bicep, close it, keep it vertical, and then lift. Down, open, close, lift. Open, close, lift. There you go. Open, close, lift. Pull that scapula down, rooted into your ribs there. Chest is up, good. Feel air between your ear and your arm when you do this. Open it up, nice long neck. Open, close, and lift it. There it is, good job. Open, close, lift it. If this is too much, just take a little break, that's okay. If it's not enough, you can increase the weight, increase the speed, but at this point, stay nice and slow and controlled. There we go. Let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. Arm is level with the ground, the chest is up. You're opening, closing, and lifting. There we go. Lift, that's it. Just feel it, feel your shoulder just rooted, the chest is up. As the arm comes up, your scapula comes down. It's kind of a strange feel, but you'll get it. Open, close, lift, that's it. If this is more involved shoulder for you, take it easy. Nice and slow then, nice and slow, perfect. Good, open, close, and lift. Now we're gonna look, your, your arms are gonna be straight, the chest is gonna be up, the palm will be up with the weight, and we're just gonna keep that chest up. Notice my back is totally arched on this, right? Chest is up and lift and bring it down. Lift and bring it down. Good, chest is up, pull this, that shoulder so hard down that scapula when you're lifting the arm. Keep the arm totally straight, good. If this hurts in any way, just do partials. Just do very partials if need be. If it's popping and clicking, pull the shoulder down harder. And chest is up and lifting, loving it. Good, let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. Boom, chest is up, the opposite hand is facing forward. Good, chest is up. You're doing great. Be happy, smile. It's a great day, perfect. Chest is up. Pull, feel that rooting. I know I'm saying it over and over again, but you're gonna get it. You're gonna feel that scapula, that wing bone just root down. Stick the butt out a little bit chest is up, good. Let's go ahead and do the biceps now again. Chest is up, pull the shoulder down, open, close, lift. Open, close, lift, there it is, open. Notice my, my upper on my arm here goes vertical like that. It's not coming over here. Open, close, lift, chest is up, open, you're like a gymnast in the Olympics. Open, close, there you go, good job. Just feel it, just feel it. You don't need to hit a certain number, just feel it the whole time. Feel it when the arm's coming up, feel it when the arm's coming down. Good, let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. Chest is up, here we go, lift. There it is. Even when you lift your arms over your head, a lot of people that do that for a living, people that cut hair, people that do painting, whatever it may be, you don't wanna lift the shoulders when you lift the arms, right? Because then this happens. The chest is up and the shoulders are pulled down. I'm so excited. I had to tear myself in my own shoulder. And I did these exercises and I can do anything I want with that shoulder now. And you will be too. Here we go, good. Let's lift the arms again. Chest is up, straight arm. 
Boom, here we go. This time, let's do a little 45 and a little face forward. A little 45 and forward. Good job. There we go. Beautiful. Let's give it a couple more and we'll switch over to the other side. You're doing great. Keep it up, people. Let's switch to the other side. Shoulders, it's longevity. If you've had a tear in your shoulder, you want to do shoulder exercises and keep doing that. We're going to do this exercise. We're going to do some exercises every other day. There are going to be four shoulder videos on this, and you are going to do one every other day. Gets too much, take a little break. Good. I'm proud of you guys. You're on fire right now. You're doing it. How's it feel to be winning right now? Yes. Good job. You did a great. We'll see you in day two.